Hey you guys, so it's April, so we have an April TBR to get to. Um, I'm gonna try and go through these a little bit quicker. Um, my wrap up was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be, so I wanna try and shorten these down, start shorten these down, because I can't edit, so I wanna try and make my speaking as concise as possible at the beginning. Um, so I have six books on my TBR for this month. I feel hopeful that I can do that since I did it last month. Um, if it doesn't happen, I'm not gonna flip. Um, I am way ahead of my Goodreads goal. If I don't finish all six, if I finish two, I'll be happy. But I just have options. A lot more random options than I've ever had on, well, no, not ever. And I've had on a TBR in a long time. But nonetheless, let's get into it. Um, the first book, you can probably guess, that's on my TBR, is House of Hades by Rick Riordan, the fourth book in the Heroes of Olympus series, which is my April reread for my Rick Riordan reread that I've been doing. Um, I will probably be reading this one in its physical form. Um, I listened to the first three books on audiobook because um, it was kind of a nice change. And then for some reason... The person who was doing the audiobooks switched after Mark of Athena. And the last two books are by a totally different dude. And I don't really like the way he talks or the way he does the characters. Because I was used to the way the other guy was doing it. So I don't really want to listen to him do them. So I'm probably going to be reading this, which will be interesting because I haven't read a physical book in... Who knows how long it's been a while um because i just normally don't have the time well now we're all stuck at home for who knows how long so i have all the time in the world so i will probably end up reading this in physical form which will be good to get back into that like what i used to do with those books i think was that book or mark of athena or which one came out mm. it had to have been Mark of Athena and it came out and I got it I laid in my room and read it almost all in one day because like I literally only came out of my room to eat and then I would go in continue reading I got at least halfway 75% of the way through that was in middle school so that was like early reading kind of the next book um, that I will be getting to this month is a another reread, I guess, technically, um, and that is The Lost Hero graphic novel um, by Rick Riordan, uh, adapted by Robert Venditti. Um, he did all of these as well. Um, there's only the first two out of these, and I've only read the first one. I have the second one, but it's on my TBR. Um, and the, the other three have not come out yet. So um, I will be getting to this at some point this month to do this. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to feel the same way about the other ones, but we'll see. I don't, it's been a really long time since I read this, so we'll see. Now to get into the four random books that I have that I chose this month. One of them's a reread, so it's not super random. It's, that one has a reason, but the other three don't. The other three are completely, completely random. So the first of which, um, if you remember, um, one of my, sorry, I have a kink in my neck, so I'm trying to get that out while I'm talking. It's weird. Um, one of my yearly um, goals is to read five classics this year. Um, doesn't matter what they are, read five classics. Um, I will not include, if I get to my goal of rereading uh, Anne of Green Gables, I will not count that because I want it to be new. New classics, but nonetheless, five classics. So, oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the first of which, completely randomly picked, I literally created a list of all the classics I have on my shelf, picked one out. And the pick that I happened to end up with, The Story Girl by Lucy Maud Montgomery. Um, 
and she actually wrote Anne of Green Gables. So it's kind of like reading Anne of Green Gables, except not. Um, I started reading this a long time ago, at least two years ago. I probably had it on a TBR at some point. Um, and I still have my bookmark in it. So I got to page 38, which was chapter six. This book only has 230 pages. So I'm going to read it this month. Um, or listen to it if I feel like it. We'll see. Um, but I'll be reading this this month, no matter what. The next random chosen book was What Happened to Goodbye by Sarah Dessen. Um, this is one of the only Sarah Dessen books that I have not read. It is the only Sarah Dessen book that I own that I have not read. Um, so, so I have to get into it. I have not read one of her books in, oh God, seven years? I read a lot of her books when I was in middle school, early high school-ish time frame. And then when I started booktube, I was just like, eh. Nah. Um, and she hasn't come out with that many more books since I stopped reading her books, so I don't know what her like release schedule is, so we'll see. But it'll be nice to have kind of a light-hearted, fun read this month versus my kind of been down and dreary the last few months. Like, end of Harry Potter's dreary, rereading books. Anyway, my next random um, which I will be for sure probably listening to on audio until, unless I feel otherwise, is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Um, I want to give these a try. I wasn't originally going to. I was originally just going to get rid of all of them and not read them because I had the first one and the third one. Weird book outlet. Long time ago I explained it. Um, but then I was like, you know what? I'll keep City of Bones. We'll see. There's a very sculpted man on the cover so mm, we'll see um because I've heard such good things about her books and I know that there's a lot of ones that are coming out right now that are really really good and everyone loves them and raving about them on booktube but I've never read any of the Shadowhunter books so I can't read the new one because I've never read any of them um so we'll see and it's up my alley I'll keep reading them if not then I won't we'll see and then the last one is a reread because the new sequel prequel is coming out next month. Middle of next month, I think. Um, and so this is Hunger Games by Susan Collins because her new book is coming out in May, in the middle of May. And I just feel like rereading these books because I haven't. Um, again, as you can tell from this cover, which is very beat up and bent and... The cover is like the yellowed and pages are yellowed and I've had this book and I've reread this book so many times. Again, very much like the Percy Jackson series, I reread this one who knows how many times. I've reread this book probably 10 to 15 times probably, I would say. Um, I would just reread this over and over. I would reread the whole series. For some reason, stop after Catching Fire. I reread Mockingjay like probably three or four times, but this one was always my favorite. So I would just come back and reread this and then come back and reread this. Um, so I'm excited to get back into it and get back into this world. Um, I remember it well. I remember it fondly. I remember pieces of it. Don't remember every detail, but I remember all the big things. Um, and then I went to rewatch all the movies and watch for the first ever time watch Mocking Mockingjay Part 2 because I have never seen that movie. Not once. So we'll see. So anywho, those are the six books that are on my TBR for this month. Um, we'll see how I do. If I read all of them, great. If I don't, oh well. I'm just happy with where I'm at. Um, if I read all of those, I will be down to 78 because three of them are technically rereads and three of them are new. Um, but that's fine. 78 books on my TBR, but we'll see. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video today, guys, and I'll see you guys all 
the next video. Bye!